The original idea of the Media Lab was, first of all, in 1980, so it's quite a while ago, was based very much on photography. How did photography evolve? The people who invented photography were photographers. And one forgets that very often because something like television was invented by engineers and thrown over the fence. So the belief then, 1980, was that the creative use of computers would drive computer technology. So you wanted artists, musicians, journalists, educators to be the people in what we called the Media Lab. So it was a place, the first of its kind, in a very technical institution where the creative users and the inventors were the same people. The Mexico Media Lab that I'm in creation, it's still a work in progress, is done through the convergence of communication, which is where I come from, technology and innovation. And that's what I want to do for the, for the project. And I wouldn't dare to say that it's model, it's inspired, yes, by, by MIT and other labs. I'm looking into uh, a place like the Wilson Center, which is uh, a think tank with actionable projects, and that's what I'm interested in. I'm looking also into the New York Gob Lab. Um, I'm, I'm looking at, uh, com uh, at comparisons, but I'm, I'm going to try to do my own modeling. As of now, 5% of the content in the web is done in Spanish. And I think that uh, the Spanish-speaking communities anywhere, anywhere in the world deserve better than that, than just consuming what is produced in other languages. And that goes for fiction and nonfiction. So I'm going to open that. I'm going to see into better places where we can put uh, um, the idea, the notion of more ac accountability, not only media, media, traditional media, the media that you and I work for for many years, which I think, by the way, will not disappear. But let's move into other spaces, citizens uh, doing what we used to do you and I, reporters for a living. So I'm going to uh, bring some of the uh, tools, technological tools, closer to the citizens and have them look over the shoulder for projects that are, they are interested in. I think that uh, the outcome on the first year will be I'm working on a book called Mexico 2020, what is going to happen on that year for most of the Mexicans. Uh, I, I did it through scenario uh, planning. Um, and then the second and third years, we're going to be working on projects that could bring us closer to what I was referring to communication, innovation, and technology, and the convergence of it in a space within the Spanish-speaking community.